Sisters and brothers in Christ, may the Lord give you peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. In the responsorial psalm, after the first reading, the praying man asked, How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? And then he gives just the answer, The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. We can take this verse as a summary of what we are celebrating on the Feast of Corpus Christi and in each Holy Eucharist. Offering the Holy Mass, we duly repay the Lord for his goodness, not with the little we have at disposal as our own. No, we do it with what he has given into our hands in remembrance of him. In the Holy Eucharist, we can truly worship him co-equally with the cup of salvation, the sacrifice of the body and blood of Christ, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Each celebration of the Holy Eucharist is preceded by the liturgy of the Word. On Sunday and solemnities, we first listen to the Old Testament, then to the reading from the letters of the New Testament, the Acts or the Book of Revelation, and finally to one of the four Gospels. We do this not only in order to learn the Word of God and to internalize it, we are reminded what is written in John's Gospel, that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Word became flesh, and we have seen it. In the Holy Mass, this happens in a sacramental and real way. The word we are listening to dwells in Jesus among us and is becoming again flesh in the host and in the chalice. It is really the cup of salvation we raise, calling on the name of the Lord, as the psalm says. In the Holy Communion, we receive the body of Christ as divine gift that changes our whole being and gives our life a new destination, a new identity. St. Augustine explained the mystery with the following words, I quote, If you, therefore, are Christ's body and members, it is your own mystery that is placed on the Lord's table. It is your own mystery that you are receiving. You are saying Amen to what you are. Your response is a personal signature affirming your faith. When you hear the body of Christ, you reply, reply Amen. Be a member of Christ's body then, so that your Amen may ring true. End of quotation of St. Augustine. You are the body of Christ. You receive the body. Become and remain what you are and what you are receiving. In the celebration of the Holy Mass, we have, therefore, three important mysteries. First, the Word of God is given us in the readings. In the Eucharistic prayer, the eternal Word becomes flesh and is really present as the sacrificial Lamb who offers himself to the Father for the sins of the world. For your sins, my sins. 
in the Holy Communion, we incorporate the body of Christ and are called to live and to act as his body. As St. Paul tells the Corinthians, now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. You are the body of Christ. Christ's work has to be continued and achieved in each one of us. Like Jesus offered himself on the cross as the unblemished lamb, each follower of Christ is called to reflect the Lord's sacrifice in his or her own life. In the Eucharistic prayer, we hear the words of the bread, very familiar for many every day. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. And then over the chalice, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for, for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. For you, this act of self-offering of Jesus in the cross, on the cross made present in the Holy Eucharist has now to continue in our life. When we are consuming the body of Christ in the Holy Communion, it means much more than a kind private spiritual gift for the sanctification of our souls, as many faithful understand it. It is much more. The Lord gives a mandate. Do this in memory of me. Does not refer to the celebration of the Eucharist only, but also to the self-sacrifice in our life as Christians. Do this in memory of me means do what I did in your way. Remember the word of St. Paul to the Corinthians. You were bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. Body of Christ, body of Glorify him in your body. He refers to the self-sacrifice of Jesus on the cross in which the faithful through the Eucharist take part and as a consequence have to glorify God in their bodies. And St. Paul speaks these words in the context of sexual immorality, but without any doubt means all sinful acts that compromise and damage the body of Christ on the cross and the body of Christ in the living church. We are called to reflect the sacrificial love of Jesus in our own lives. It means that the Mass is not over with the final blessing, but continues on the way back in our home, and at the place where we are working. Christian life is a permanent and ongoing Eucharist, a translation of Christ for you into our personal self-giving for others. Dear sisters and brothers, I started my homily with the question of the psalm how can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? And the reply was, the cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. That's what we are doing again now. And let the body of Christ you receive permeate your whole being and keep in mind the words of St. Paul, glorify God in your body in your whole human being and doing. Amen.